Jonathan, John, Hagar is an American professional wrestler. He is best known for his appearances with World Championship Wrestling as Johnny the Bull and World Wrestling Entertainment as Johnny Stambuli. He has also worked for Total Non-Stop Action Wrestling, Asistencia Accessoria Y Administration and Lucha Libre USA under the ring name Relic. Professional Wrestling Career, World Championship Wrestling While attending college in Atlanta, Georgia and working as a doorman at the club Oxygen Nightclub, Hugger exercised at the main event fitness gym, which was owned by World Championship Wrestling employees Lex Luger and Sting. During one of his visits to the gym, WCW employee Diamond Dallas Page met with Hugger and encouraged him to train as a wrestler. Hugger subsequently attended the WCW Power Plant Training Center and took part in a $250 USD tryout alongside 19 other people. The tryout featured press-ups, sprinting, squats and freestyle wrestling in temperatures of over 100 degrees. Hugger passed the tryout, but did not immediately begin training as a wrestler. Six months later, he was attacked and stabbed six times. Hugger resolved to change his lifestyle, which he believed had resulted in his assault, and enlisted in the power plant. After training for nine months, Hugger debuted on WCW television in late 1999. Hugger adopted the ring name Johnny the Bull and formed a mafia-themed tag team called the Mamelukes with Big Vito. The duo were managed by Tony Marinara. On January 18, 2000 in Evansville, Indiana, Hugger and Big Vito defeated Crowbar and David Flair for the WCW World Tag Team Championship. The match was broadcast on the January 19 episode of Thunder. They held the championship until February 12, when they were defeated by creative control in Oberhausen during a tour of Germany. The Mamelukes regained the championship on the following day in Leipzig, and held it until March 19, when they lost to creative control in a no-disqualification match at the pay-per-view uncensored which took place in the American Airlines Arena in Miami, Florida. On June 5, 2000, the Mamelukes attacked hardcore champion Terry Funk during a title defense against WCW president Eric Bischoff, enabling Bischoff to defeat Funk. On the June 7 episode of Thunder, Bischoff awarded the hardcore championship to the Mamelukes, making them co-champions. On June 19, Big Vito defeated Hugger to become the undisputed hardcore champion. On the July 3rd episode of Nitro, while wrestling Funk in a hardcore match, Hugger tore his urethra while executing a diving leg drop and was sidelined for two months while recuperating. On the September 11, 2000 edition of Nitro, Hugger returned to betray Vito and joined several other power plant graduates in a stable known as the Natural Born Thrillers, a collection of young wrestlers who sought to challenge more established wrestlers. Although the Thrillers were successful in winning the World Tag Team Championship on several occasions, Hugger reconciled with Vito and reformed the Mamelukes, and the two continued teaming until WCW's closure in March 2001. World Wrestling Federation, Entertainment In March 2001, World Championship Wrestling was purchased by its Stamford, Connecticut-based rival, the World Wrestling Federation. Hugger's contract was bought out by the WWF. Johnny the Bull wrestled one dark match before the July 12, 2001 edition of SmackDown, losing to Rob Van Dam. Johnny the Bull was introduced to the promotion as a member of the Alliance but after a single appearance on WWF television, Hugger was sent to the Heartland Wrestling Association, an Ohio-based WWF developmental territory, in late July 2001, to further his training. While in the HWA, he won the promotion's heavyweight championship on two occasions in 2002. After the company was renamed to World Wrestling Entertainment in May 2002, Hugger returned to WWE television on the June 30th.
2002 episode of Sunday Night Heat under the ring name Johnny, the Bull, Stambuli, losing via disqualification to Tommy Dreamer. On the July 15th episode of Raw, Stambuli won the Hardcore Championship, his first title in WWE, from Bradshaw. Bradshaw would, however, regain the title from Hugger later that night. On the July 29th episode of Raw, Stambuli won the Hardcore title once again after pinning Jeff Hardy, but lost the title a few seconds later to Tommy Dreamer. Following this, he became a mainstay on Heat and would later turn face due to fan reaction in late September 2002. On February 13, 2003, Stambuli was moved to the SmackDown. Brandon became a heel again when he allied with Nunzio and Chuck Palumbo to attack Rikishi. Together, the trio became the full-blooded Italians. The FBI would go on to wrestle throughout 2003 and early 2004 before disbanding on March 22, 2004 when Palumbo was moved to the Raw brand. Stambuli and Nunzio continued to team together until he was released from his WWE contract on November 4. All Japan Pro Wrestling following his release from WWE. Hugger began wrestling for the Japanese All Japan Pro Wrestling promotion after his friend Troy Endras, who was portraying a fake great Muta, retired after tearing both of his anterior cruciate ligaments and nominated Hugger as his replacement. Hugger donned a mask and adopted the character of Great Muta, losing to the real Great Muta at the Unchained World on December 5, 2004 in the Ryagoku Kokugikan in Tokyo. On January 2, 2005 in the Karaku Inn Hall in Tokyo, Hugger dropped his Great Muta character and formed a stable with Taru known as the Voodoo Murders. The Voodoo Murders, who declared that they wished to destroy AJPW, eventually expanded to include several other WCW and WWE alumni, including Chuck Palumbo. Independent Circuit in 2005, Hugger and Chuck Palumbo reformed the full-blooded Italians in the Italy-based New Wrestling Evolution promotion. In 2006, Hugger toured Mexico, teaming with Marco Corleone in the Consejo Mundial de Lucha Libre promotion. In late 2006, Hugger began working for the Arizona-based Impact Zone wrestling promotion, where he created a character named R.E.D.R.U.M., a reference to the 1980 film The Shining. Hugger based Red Rum on the Great Muta character he had portrayed in AJPW. In the summer of 2007, Hugger wrestled two dark matches for World Wrestling Entertainment, using the ring name The Unknown Wrestler. Total non-stop action wrestling in late 2007, Hugger exhibited his R.E.D.R.U.M. character for Jeff Jarrett, Vince Russo and Terry Taylor. Members of the creative team of the Orlando, Florida-based Total Non-Stop Action Wrestling promotion, and was subsequently hired. He debuted in TNA on November 11, 2007 at the pay-per-view Genesis. In his next appearance, his ring name was changed to Relic. He then aligned himself with Black Rain and James Mitchell, with he and Rain forming a tag team. In their debut match as a team, they lost to Abyss and Raven at turning point in a match of 10,000 tacks. After losing several matches, the team picked up its first and only victory after defeating the Motor City Machine Guns on the March 10, 2008 episode of Impact. On the April 16th episode of Impact, Relic and Black Rain made their final appearance as a team in a losing effort to Team 3D in the first round of the Juices Wild Tournament. After losing three dark matches in mid-May, Hugger left TNA. Lucha Libra USA Hugger made his debut in Lucha Libra USA in June 6, 2010. Relic and Mysterious Ita were defeated by Luyo Esquire and Octagon Saita. Relic took part in a tournament to crown number one contenders for the LLUSA Heavyweight Championship. He was defeated by Charlie Malice in the first round of the tournament. 
Hugger joined Lismark, JR's stable treachery along with Sidastico. On December 12, 2010, Treachery defeated Dynastia in a tag match to advance into the three-way tag team title match. Relic helped Lismark, Jr. to win the LLUSA Heavyweight Championship by blinding Marco Corleone with powder. On January 22, 2011, Rudashimo defeated Puerto Rican Power and Treachery in a three-way tag match to become the inaugural Lucha Libre USA Tag Team Champions. On March 19, Marco Corleone and Shane Helms defeated Treachery in a tag team match, and later on in the main event, Relic took part in a Lucha Roulette Elimination No. 1 Contenders match for the LLUSA Championship, which was won by Charlie Malice. Return to Independent Circuit Hugger is currently working in Phoenix-based IWF using the Johnny Stromboli gimmick forming a tag team with Tyson. Tyler known as GFY he is also wrestling as Redrum, a character very similar to Relic. Most recently facing Hurricane Helms in May 2014, in wrestling, finishing moves as R-E-D-R-U-M, Relic Demon Driver, T-N-A Genocide Driver Sickle, T-N-A as Johnny the Bull, Johnny Stambly Diving Discus Leg Drop. WCW, WWE Fugedabadit, WWE Lariat Military Press dropped into a DDT, WWE Signature Moves Diving Splash Multiple DDT Variations Jumping Standing Tornado Multiple Kick Variations Drop Sometimes from the top rope in Zwiggy Ray spinning wheel multiple leg drop variations Diving Guillotine Springboard Overhead Belly to Belly Suplex Power slam sidewalk slam spinning spine buster tilt a whirl slam wheelbarrow face buster. Manages Disco Inferno Tony Marinara Nunzio Chuck Palumbo James Mitchell. Nicknames The Bull. Championships and Accomplishments. Heartland Wrestling Association HWA Heavyweight Championship. Impact Zone Wrestling IZW Heavyweight Championship. Torum and Yamaha Cup with Chuck Palumbo. World Championship Wrestling WCW Hardcore Championship 1 WCW World Tag Team Championship with Big Vito World Wrestling Entertainment WWE Hardcore Championship 1 Johnny the Bull held the title jointly with Big Vito during his reign